AutoDS is an all-in-one dropshipping solution that helps automate your dropshipping journey, find best-selling products to sell, explore private suppliers, and so much more. With so many features, selling channels, suppliers, and so much more coming out all the time, this video will help you understand how to use every bit of AutoDS so that you can successfully automate and scale your business. You can use the timestamps below to jump to a specific feature that you would like to learn more about, or sit back with your favorite snack or beverage and watch this complete tutorial from A to Z to master your dropshipping game with AutoDS. So without further ado, let's jump in and learn how to use AutoDS from the very beginning. Starting with the AutoDS dashboard. Now the AutoDS dashboard holds all of your business metrics all in one place. You can even connect multiple stores to AutoDS, select all of them, and see how all of them are performing under your system dashboard. So this is the AutoDS dashboard, and here's what we're seeing. So here on top, we can set the dates for the metrics that we would like to see. So right now I'm looking one month back. Then we've got the total profit that we made for the stores that we have selected. So you can see here that I made $2,456 in profit in the last month, 224 orders, $8,365 in total revenue, and the total amount of new products, which in this case is 330, and all of these metrics, again, are just from the last month. And we've got a total sales overview from that last month, so we can see a nice little chart. And here we've got a nice little window showing us a little overview of what is our average profit, our average sell order cost, buy order cost, and so forth. Then we've got the top selling tags. So when we add products to our stores, we can also add tags to them so it'll be easier to analyze it later on. And here we can see some of our tags, how many of them sold within that last month. We can change the dates for the top selling tags, for the top selling products, and of course, for the dashboard metrics, as I already showed you. So we've also, of course, got the top selling products. So here are the top products that have been selling within the time frame that we chose. So that basically covers the AutoDS dashboard and the business metrics that we can see from here. Now let's learn how to add our dropshipping stores, or in other words, our selling channels to the AutoDS account. So here on the top left, I'm gonna click on the store's names. And here you can see that I've got a couple of eBay stores and an Etsy store all connected to this account. But how do we actually add these stores or these selling channels? So I'm gonna click right here on add store. And here we've got all of the selling channels or all of the stores that we can sell on today and connected to AutoDS. So here we've got an eBay store, Amazon, Shopify, Facebook, Wix, WooCommerce, and Etsy. And there's a good chance that you're seeing more selling channels by the time you're watching this video because we have more and more that are coming out all the time. But for this example, let's add a Shopify store. So I'm gonna click on Shopify store and click on continue. And here I've got a few options. So one, I can select that I already have a Shopify store. I just wanna connect it to AutoDS. I can also get a free AI pre-built Shopify store by simply clicking on this button and clicking on continue. And I'll have a new store generated for me with winning products already inside. Or we can go with, I don't have a Shopify store, create one myself. In this case, I already have a Shopify store. So I'm gonna click on that option and I'm gonna click on continue. Now the connection process is pretty much seamless no matter what selling channel you are connecting. So here I'm gonna go ahead and click on open app. And now since I'm already logged into my Shopify store, all I need to do is allow the connection between AutoDS and my Shopify store to be made. So here I'm gonna click on update. And you can see right here, Nightlight Star store successfully added. So it's a very simple process, next, next, and finish, and your dropshipping store is connected to AutoDS. And if I go right up here to the top left, we can see Nightlight Stars, my new store that I just connected right up here. And once again, that's how simple it is to connect your dropshipping stores to AutoDS. So now that we understand the dashboard and how to add our dropshipping stores, let's go ahead and check out the AutoDS Marketplace. The AutoDS Marketplace has a bunch of trending products that we can sell on our stores and import them directly to our stores at any given time. Now the AutoDS database is filled with thousands of these products and more being added all the time, and it's being sorted by popularity. So we can see right here that we've got a whole bunch of different categories. So if we wanna sell under a specific niche, we can go ahead and do so. And we can see right here, we've got the best sellers, we've got new arrivals, and then we've got the categories like toys and hobbies, home and garden, home improvement and tools, outdoors, sports and fitness, and so forth. And if I click on one of these products, I'm gonna get more product information. So I clicked on this backpack and we can see right here that, that this is a backpack cooler and we've got the product's information right here. All of the images for this product are right here. 
We've got customer reviews for this product, the amount of reviews that this product got, how much the item costs, the variations, so here we can go with a gray or a blue color, and the shipping information, where it ships from. In this example, this backpack ships from the United States, shipping costs $0, and shipping and processing time is just one business day for this bag. And we've got this import draft button right here, so as soon as we click on it, this product will move to the draft section of our stores, where we can completely optimize it before importing it to the product section and actually having it go live where other people can actually purchase this backpack from us. Here we've got the product's information, the product specifications, the shipping and return policies, and the customer reviews. As we continue scrolling, we can see more recommended products that are similar to the one that we just saw. So if we want to sell in the backpack niche, we can add all of these products. But these backpacks and all of these products that we're seeing here on the marketplace, where are they actually coming from? Who are the suppliers and how is it going to be shipped out? So the marketplace is filled with both retail and private dropshipping suppliers. Retailers like AliExpress and Amazon and private dropshipping suppliers that signed up with AutoDS to be able to sell these products exclusively to the AutoDS members. So by using AutoDS, you already have access to our marketplace. Here on the top, there's a filter for supplier. We're going to select AutoDS suppliers. And this means that we are currently sourcing from private dropshipping suppliers that you can build and maintain relationships with. So how exactly does this whole thing work? First, before we jump into the products, we can see the ships to right up here. So if you want to target a specific audience, for example, if you want to sell only to the UK, you can choose United Kingdom right here. And this will show all of the products that can ship to the United Kingdom. Same goes for any other region that you want to sell to, for example, the United States, Germany, France, Italy, and so forth. You can also choose the currency that you would like to sell on. As you see, we've got all of the different currencies that you can use today. Then we've got the ships from. So here, for example, if you want to be able to ship quickly to your domestic audience, for example, if we're going with the UK in this example, we want to see what products can ship to the UK, but let's also find products that can ship from the UK. So this way we're shipping from and to the UK. Therefore, we're going to get really fast shipping times because it's all domestic and it's under the same country. Of course, the same can be done for the rest of the states. For example, you can do ships from the United States and to the United States. And as you can see right here, it even shows in the image US seller fast shipping from the USA. So this is how you can ship within six to nine business days from and to the US. And of course, all of your customers will be happy because they do not have to wait a few months to get their items. No customer today wants to wait that long. Then we've got another filter for the price range. So if you want to source products under a specific price range, you can choose that here. But what else are we getting from working with private dropshipping suppliers? One of the biggest advantages here is that some of these private suppliers can customizably brand your products. So you can send out your orders with your branded logo on it. And you can see an example of that right here on the products where it says customizable branding on it. So if you see that option, that means that you can import this product to your store. And when you sell it, the supplier can send it out with your branded logo on it. How exactly does that work? Let me show you. So I'm going to click on this beauty facial massager right here, where it says that we can customize this product right here. Again, customizable branding, even inside the product page. And you can see right here on the right side, create your customizable branding. So you can upload your invoice logo to your store. And again, when this product sells, it'll get sent out with your logo on it. So I'm going to click here on add now. And here we can add our logo. So I'm going to click to upload a logo. And I'm just going to choose any random image that I had on my hard drive, just for the example. And we can see right here. So here's my logo, smile at the world and the world will smile back. So every time I get an order from a product from the AutoDS marketplace that has customizable branding, it will get sent out with this logo on the product packaging, which is nice because this way we can brand our products, even though we're dropshipping and usually dropshippers cannot brand their products unless they purchase a minimum order quantity, which means that we have to put an investment on our products before we sell them. And then we're not really dropshipping anymore, are we?
So that's one of the advantages using AutoDS's private suppliers. Another nice feature that we have on the marketplace is that you can message these private suppliers and have one-on-one -on -one conversations with them, negotiate better prices, better deals, maybe get more products to sell on your store, similar to those that are already selling for you, or you can test out a brand new niche and so many more things that you can do once you actually start communicating with your private suppliers. And the way to do that is as follows. So I'm gonna click on this product right here, which is a leather dog collar. And we can see that the private supplier here, their name is The Perfect Part Incorporated. So here, as I scroll down, you can see that I have this option to message this supplier. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And here you can see that a chat window opened up between me and the supplier. So I can go ahead and say, hello, nice to meet you. I would like to start drop shipping your products. And here you can continue the conversation, like are there more products you didn't add to AutoDS yet? Or do you have faster shipping options, more product ideas, and so forth, okay? So you can send the suppliers messages, they'll message you back, and this is how you're gonna start building relationships with them, which is really good for the long term because you'll have a distinct advantage that other dropshippers don't have when working only with retailers. Now, there are more things you can do inside the marketplace. For example, if there's a supplier that you really liked working with, you can simply click on their names. Like right here, I'm gonna click on the perfect part, and now I'm gonna see only products that were added from this supplier. And now I can simply click on import and import and add all of their products to our stores if we really like working with these suppliers, especially with this US seller right here who ships pretty fast from and to the USA. And additional options that we have in the marketplace is to actually search for something. So if you wanna sell, I don't know, pet products, you can search for pets. And in this case, it only shows me the perfect part supplier because he's still here on the supplier search. So I'm going to unclick on him. But now I wanna clear my search and I wanna search for something else like a hat. And here you can see all of the hats that you can sell really easily using private suppliers from the AutoDS marketplace. So that is the free search function. And you've got a few more options here. For example, sorting by best sellers or sorting by products that have fast shipping. And that is a general overview of the AutoDS marketplace. Now under the marketplace, we have additional features like handpicked products, the TikTok spy and trending products. Let's see exactly what they are, the differences between them and how they can help boost our dropshipping business. Now, if you do not see the handpicked products, TikTok spy and trending products under the marketplace, make sure that you enabled the product finding hub add-on under plans and add-ons. Once you have enabled that, you will be able to see them. The marketplace, however, with the private suppliers and customizable branding is completely free and included in your AutoDS plan. So I'm gonna start with the handpicked products. And here we can see a whole bunch of products that are kind of similar to what we saw on the marketplace. So what's the difference here? The difference is that we have a dedicated team that is single-handedly picking these products, finding the sellers who are selling them, finding the ad copies that they are running on these products, finding the sources, the suppliers where they're getting these products from and putting all of this together so that we can take inspiration from sellers who have great success selling these products. And then we can implement the same practices on our stores while learning how to stand out from our competition and do a better job than the people who are already selling these products. For example, let's go ahead and scroll here a bit. And as we can see, all of these products are perfect for drop shipping. And all of these products have sellers who are selling them successfully. So let's click on one of these products and see what additional information we have inside. So as I'm looking at this levitating magnetic lamp right here, I can see that this one was added four days ago to the AutoDS database. And as I hover over this icon right here, I can see a nice little overview of how this product is performing. What is the potential profit that I can make here? How much it's being sold for? How many people are selling this product? The engagement score, the saturation score, and so forth. But let's jump in a little bit deeper into that and understand exactly what that means. So as I click on this product, I'm gonna get, of course, more information. So again, the potential profit, how much profit we can make selling this product, how much it's being sold for. Now the engagement score and the saturation score are two different things. The higher the engagement score, the more people are engaging, the more online shoppers are engaging with this product, meaning it has a lot of demand. People are really interested in it. Then we've got the saturation score. The smaller the number, the fewer this product is saturated. But again, 
even if you see that the product is saturated, it does not mean that you cannot sell it. And we are adding multiple competitors just to prove that point. Anybody can sell a saturated product. It's all a matter of how you are marketing this product to your audience and which audience you are targeting for these products. So as I scroll down, we can also get some audience targeting. So if you want to run ads on these products, you can get some nice inspiration here as to what type of audience you should be targeting as well as social ads. So here we can see both TikTok and Facebook posts according on what we were able to find from the sellers who are selling this product. So here, for example, I'm going to click on one of the TikTok posts. We can see that there are three competitors here selling this product, but I'm only going to click on the first one. And here we can actually see the ad copy and the product in action. And we can see that this seven second video for this levitating lamp for this product got 60,000 likes, 976 comments, 15,000 saves, and over 4,000 shares from just this seven second video. So you can be sure that a lot of people clicked on it, went to his shop and purchased the product. And this is from another dropshipper. So you can see more ad copies right here and simply get inspiration from those who actually did a good job with their ad copy or with their post. And as we scroll down here to the competitors, we can see what other shops are selling this product. So I'm going to click on this one right here, Lumino.us, selling the same exact product that we just saw. And he's selling it for $95, not including shipping. And you can get inspired by their website, how they made it, which in this example, it's not a very good looking store. They didn't really optimize their title. There is no product description whatsoever. So we can easily do a better job than this, especially by using AutoDS's AI rewrite tool to rewrite our titles rewrite our descriptions and simply make the product pages look much better than the sellers who are already having good success selling these products. And as I mentioned, there's no such thing as product saturation. You can see multiple people selling these products. Further down below, we've got the AutoDS Insights. So here you can get more information about this product and other recommended products from a similar category. Here we can choose what variations we would like to add and you can go ahead and click on import draft to import this product to your store and do a better job selling it than what we saw from these competitors. You can also click here on search on either Amazon, Facebook or AliExpress to find this product and maybe source it at a cheaper price. For example, here I can search for this product on AliExpress. So let's click on that and then we can see all of the products that are like this that are being sold on AliExpress. Like this one right here, where it's being sold for $57.60. This is a medium ticket item. You do not have to start with expensive products. I just went with the first example that I saw. But of course, you can get the picture here. And again, sellers are selling it for about two times that price, not including shipping. So there's a lot of profit potential to be made here. And you saw how many audiences are engaging with this product. But just like we have this one, we have hundreds and hundreds of other products in all kinds of prices, like $2, $12, $4 one and a half and so forth. So the range is incredible. You can choose whatever products you want from whatever niche and simply save a whole bunch of time on doing product research when we already did all of the hard work for you. And that is what is so special about the Handpicked Products Hub. Now back up to the top, we have again a smart filter system. So here we can filter what countries these products can ship to, what currencies we wanna use, do we want to see Facebook ads, TikTok ads? And of course, by the time you're watching this video, you can expect to see more updates, like maybe we already added Pinterest ads and so forth. Then we've also got the orders. So do you want to see products that have more than 50 orders, more than 500 orders and so forth? And we've also got the profit range. So what is the profitability that you are looking for on these products? And of course, the item cost range. So you're looking for products that cost between 15 to $30, 30 to 100. And you've also got the created date or in other words, how far back do you want to go when these products, when these ads were created? And once again, you've got the product category. So you can search for handpicked products under a specific category and click on this week's products to see what was uploaded this week, as well as sorting the product. So right now it's sorting from recently added, new to old, and you can play around, of course, with those options. So that is the handpicked products hub. Now let's move over to the TikTok spy. So the TikTok spy does pretty much exactly that. It shows you a whole bunch of TikTok posts, videos, and ads that are working really well for other dropshippers so that you can get a nice example of what other products, what dropshipping products are selling really well for people who are posting them on TikTok in order to get organic traffic and views and of course, sales on their stores. Now, again, from the time I'm recording this video to the time that you're watching it, you may notice new updates. For example, right now, it's just for TikTok, but soon we're planning on adding Facebook Spy, Pinterest Spy, and more. So if you notice those changes, enjoy it. But here's what we got so far on the TikTok Spy. 
Here are the videos that you can go over and find dropshipping products that are selling well for other sellers. But you can, of course, use a smart filter system in order to narrow that down even further and find the really good and juicy ads that are working really well right now for other dropshippers. For example, I can filter the amount of likes. So don't show me anything that has less than, let's say, 20,000 likes. So I'm going to go more than 20,000. And the impression, so you can do the same thing here. The interaction rate. So do I want more than 5% interactions, more than 2%? Of course, the higher we go, the more people are interacting inside those products. So let's just go more than 2%, kind of keep it balanced. CTA button text. So do you want to see ads that have shop now, order now, visit store, shop here as the call to action inside the ad copy? And we've got the source. So do you want to look for advertising? In other words, PPC, pay-per-click ads. So this means ad copies that sellers actually are putting money in every day. Or do you want to see organic slash TikTok shops? So in other words, organic videos, videos that sellers are not putting their budget on in order to make them. They're just posting videos on TikTok. They ordered the product to their house. They shot videos. And now they are posting those videos organically, hoping to get traffic to their online stores. So we can also choose that option. And you can also search by a certain keyword. So if you're looking for like a dog toy, for example, you can search for that here. And now you can see all of the dog toys that are working really well for other TikTok sellers. Like this one right here. This is actually a cat toy, but that's also good. And we can see this dog toy right here for this golden retriever. And as we continue scrolling, we'll find more and more dog toys. And as we look here, we can get more information. For example, how many likes these videos have, how many comments, and how many shares. So I can view it from here, or I can click on see TikTok ad and get even more information. For example, the interaction rate, total interactions, when this ad was first and last seen, how long it's been active for, and more information like the video's description, the video duration, the country that it was posted on. And we can click to see the original post to, again, actually see the original post on TikTok. And all that's left to do now is find the source for this product, source it at a better price or with a better hook, a better video, better marketing, and start making those sales from these proven products. So that is a general overview of the TikTok ad spy and all of the cool things that you can do with it for finding trending dropshipping products that's working well for other dropshippers, where you can, of course, do a better job and make more sales. Last but not least, under the marketplace, we've got trending products. So more product research done for you, more winning products, less time for you to put down on product research. So these are trending products. And what exactly is the difference between what we have here on trending products to pretty much everything else that we saw? For example, the handpicked products and the marketplace that look pretty much the same. So here is the biggest difference between them. The trending products uses AutoDS's database and an AI algorithm to put all of this information together. So whereas handpicked products, we have a team that is single-handedly picking these products and finding the sources and the rest of the information in trending products, it's all pretty much being automated. So again, we've got the smart filter system here on top, like filtering how many likes we want to see in the ad copies, impressions, interaction rate, pretty similar to the options that we already saw, as well as categories and an open search field. But what does it actually look like inside? So let's go ahead and choose one of these products. For example, this electric spin scrubber right here. And here I am inside the product page. And here we can see that the analytics that we're getting is a little bit different. So as usual, we've got the product's title and the product's images right here, as well as the shipping methods, different variations that we have in terms of colors and specifications. This is the supplier who's selling this product and how many products they're selling currently on AutoDS, where you can simply grab them and sell them on your store and simply import it by clicking on this import button right here. But what is actually different? So you can see here the total sold count. So how many times this unit actually sold? What is the potential profit that you can make from every sale? The interaction rate, the total amount of reviews and the selling price. And here we've got a product score. So we put all of our data together and we have a formula that helps us understand the potential of selling these products. So of course, the higher it is, the better. And this product here has an average score of 77, meaning it has pretty good potential. And this is a product that's worthwhile to sell on our stores. And that is made up of everything that we're seeing here. 
And as I scroll down, we can see what countries this product is being distributed to. So this is a nice piece of information showing us in this example that 28% of the consumers are from Korea, 13.8% are from Israel, almost 9% from Spain, almost 6% from the US, 5.5% from Brazil, and we can click here to see more and more. And this helps you understand what audiences, what countries this product is being sold to the most. And I'm going to scroll down a little bit more. We've got general sales. So you can see how many sales this product is making. And of course, the history chart. So you can see when it started selling, when it started trending, where it's at right now. And of course, where you can take it from this point forward. And I'm going to scroll down a bit more. We've got the ads for this product. So ads that other sellers are running, selling this electric spin scrubber. Okay, so of course we can watch the ads just as we've seen before. We can click on play. We can watch it from here. We can click to see the original post and we can see the total engagements from here. Then we've got the product specifications, the product description, more images. And again, everything here is done automatically for you. All of the research, all of the analytics, all of the competitors and their ads and everything. All that's left for you is to take inspiration from these products, click on import draft and start selling them on your stores. Now, all of the products that we have under trending products, handpicked products, and the marketplace, when you get orders on these products, the orders are going to be automated 100% from the system. And if you want to learn how this whole order automation thing works, you can click on the timestamp below to jump directly to that part, or of course, wait until I get to it. And that concludes how the AutoDS marketplace works and the difference between the marketplace, the handpicked products, the TikTok spy, and the trending products all that's here to shave off hours, days, and weeks off of your product research and providing you with the best products to sell today with our years of experience and thousands upon thousands of trending products to sell on your stores. Now let's move on to the product importer. Or in other words, how do we add products to our stores on AutoDS? Not using the same methods that we have seen up until now by simply going to the marketplace and importing the product. But what if we want to add products that are outside the marketplace and all of these extra features that we have here? Well, AutoDS supports over 30 dropshipping suppliers that are outside the marketplace and the handpicked products and everything that we've seen up until now. Here are all of the suppliers that AutoDS supports with dropshipping automation. This means that we can use any of these retail and wholesale suppliers to import products from them to our dropshipping stores and have all of the automation included inside, including the quick product importer, price and stock monitoring, and so much more. So let's see exactly how that works. This is the suppliers page on AutoDS. I can leave a link to it below. Let me know if you want access to it and I will send it to you. But here you can see all of the suppliers that AutoDS supports as well as their warehouse locations. So again, this is gonna be used if you want to ship quickly domestically to your target audience. So for example, if you're looking for warehouse locations in Canada, for example, we're gonna click on Canada and we'll see what suppliers have warehouses there. And again, same goes for UK or Australia and so forth. But right now I'm gonna keep it on all suppliers so that we can get the whole picture. So again, we can grab products from any of these suppliers and quickly add it to our dropshipping stores on AutoDS. Let's see exactly how that works. I'm gonna take AliExpress as the example here. So here's AliExpress's website and let's just search for any product like let's say Bluetooth speakers. And let's say I wanna go with this one right here. So I'm gonna click on it to open up the product page. And now all I need to do is grab the product's URL, copy it, go back to AutoDS, and then we're going to click on add products. And here we have a few options, single products, multiple products, and so forth. For now, let's go with single product. And now I'm simply going to paste the URL that I copied from the product page up here. You can also just grab the item ID if you know how to identify it, and that will be enough. But to make it easy, just grab the whole URL and paste it right here in the text field. The supplier source in this example is AliExpress, the region is China. So make sure that you're publishing it to the right store up here and go ahead and click on either edit now quick or publish to store. The difference is if you click on edit now quick, then you'll edit it from the draft section of your store. And if you click on publish to store, it'll publish directly to your store without optimizing the titles and the descriptions and everything else. So here I can just go ahead and click on edit now quick. And now it's grabbing all of the product information from AliExpress and it's adding it to the draft section of my AutoDS store. And in just a few seconds, as you can see right here while I'm talking, it already added the product's information to the draft section. And here is where I can start optimizing the product before going ahead and importing it to my store and having it go live. 
Now, I will show the whole product optimization process soon, but for now, let's stick to the product importer methods. So this is the quick way to add products to your store. But let's change the niche. Let's say this time keyboard cleaners are selling on your stores and now you want to add a whole bunch of them because you want to make more sales, more profit. So how can you expand your keyboard cleaning kits or whatever item is selling for you? You're going to search for that on your supplier's website. In this case, we're going to stay on AliExpress, but remember that you can use any of these 30 plus suppliers. And let's say you want to add the first row of these products that are simply getting a lot of sales, as you can see over here. So I'm simply going to click on them so that it'll open them in a new tab. And now I'm simply going to copy the URLs just like we did with the single product importer. Only now on AutoDS, I'm going to click on add products. Instead of going to single, I'm going to go to multiple products. Select what store or what stores you want to add these products to. And here under URLs or IDs, we're going to paste the URLs or the product IDs. So here's the first one. Then I'm going to go to the second one. I'm going to copy it from here, paste it to here. Line break, go to the third one, copy here, paste to here, and so forth. You get the picture. And here you can simply add as many products as you want without having to do it one by one. Once we're ready, we're going to go ahead and click on add as a draft. And all of those products will get added to the draft section of our store where we can continue to optimize them before having them go live on our stores. So that is the single and multiple product importer. You can also use more advanced methods like the upload CSV file, where from the help of our AutoDS Chrome Dropshipping Helper extension, you can generate a CSV file from all of the products that you're seeing on a search result like this. You can click on the extension right here. Of course, the extension is free to use. Click on extract so that it'll get all the product IDs from one page. Then you're going to click on export as CSV and a CSV file will be downloaded onto your computer and go ahead and upload that file right here. Then you can simply add hundreds to even thousands of products to your store with the click of a button. Now, I highly recommend to use the AutoDS Dropshipping Helper extension because it also helps you import products to your stores, not just by the examples that I just showed, but also here, as you see, when we're searching for a specific product and we like what we're seeing, we can simply click on this button right here. And this is the Chrome extension that will allow us to import these products to our stores simply by clicking on that button. So it's very convenient, practical, and easy to use. And that is how simple it is to import products from any one of AutoDS's dropshipping suppliers to your store in just a matter of seconds. And as we can see right here, everything got transferred from our supplier to our drafts page in just a matter of seconds, whether it's the product's title or the description with all of the images as we can see right here, the variations that are in stock, the images for this product, item specifications, and all of this got automated for us. So take advantage of AutoDS's product importing tools to quickly import products from your supplier's websites to your dropshipping stores in just a matter of seconds. Now let's go over print on demand. Print on demand allows you to sell products and you can customize whatever you want printed on that specific product. And now inside the AutoDS system, we've got the print on demand feature, which will allow you to dropship print on demand products. And here we can see all of the products that we can sell and print whatever we want on those products. So for example, we can sell printed apparel, fully printed apparel, meaning front and back, all kinds of accessories that we can print on like phone cases, slippers, face masks, and so forth. Decorative items like wall posters, tree ornaments, night lights, etc. And we've also got footwear. So of course, shoes. Then we've got home and living. So for example, rugs, blankets, flags, and we've got printed in EU or printed in Europe. So, so this is especially tailored to those who want to sell to the European audience. But how exactly does this work? How can we sell these products and how can we add our own printed design on it? How can we import it to our store and start selling it? So here is how everything works when it comes to selling print on demand items. And I really think that this is going to give you a huge advantage over your competition where you can sell customized printed designs that nobody else is selling. And this is exactly how you're going to do it. So let's choose this hoodie, for example. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And here is the product page. So here we can see it's a print on demand item and it costs between 16 to $20. We've got different types of colors. So you can choose whatever color you want. 
you can of course sell all of these colors on your store then you've got the different sizes so you've got variations for colors and variations for sizes you've got the total shipping and processing time which as you can see right here it ships pretty quickly two to nine business days and you've got the additional shipping price and you can click on view shipping options to understand exactly what the shipping price is to whatever country you want to ship to so to the united states for example standard shipping two to nine business days will cost about 7.99 whereas express two to five Five day shipping will cost $15.99 and you can choose any other country to see the shipping rates and total delivery time there. And as I continue to scroll down, you can see the product's information. So what is this product made of? What is the material? What is the printing technique? The item location? How long it takes to ship? And any additional notes. And here is how we're going to customize this product. We can use one of two main tools. One is Canva and the other is called GIMP.org. Both of these are free. Canva also has a paid method. So heading back to the product page on AutoDS, I'm going to go ahead and click on Edit Product. And here is where I can upload the image that I want printed on this product. Here we can choose a different color. So for example, let's say we want to do Carolina blue. Now I can just click on it and here I can design on that variation. So you can add whatever color you want and start working on your design. Now here we can see that we have a front and back. So we can print on both sides of this hoodie. And all we need to do now is simply add our image. In order to do that, we need to first create our image. Or you can also use a database like Etsy to purchase really cheap customized designs and add them to your print on design product. And if you want more information on how to do all of this, we also have a full print on demand video. Let me know if you want a link to it in the comments below and I'll send it to you. We also have a free POD course on our courses page. So again, if you guys need the links to anything, just let me know in the comments below and I will send them to you. But overall, this is how it's done. So if I want to add an image, if we look down here, we can see that the recommended size is 2100 by 2400 pixels. So what I'm going to do is first create a free account on Canva, then go ahead and click on create a design. Then we're going to go with a custom size and go with 2100 by 2400 pixels and go ahead and create a new design. Now here you can also use free image templates that Canva provides for you on the left side for free. So you can go with designs and elements and additional options. So let's look for a nice little design that we can write on. Just change the words a bit just for this example. So I'm going to go ahead and click on. So I'm just going to go ahead and browse a bit. And I'm going to go ahead and click on this one right here that says, keep chasing your dreams. I really like this one. You don't have to use a template that they already have. You can just create your own texts. You have all of the options here. But for this quick example, I'm going to take something ready because it already has a nice uh, font and all. And I'm going to write world's best dad. So this is the print that I want on my products. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on share so that I could download it. Then I'm going to click on download. And here I am going to click on transparent background so that the white background will not be printed on that hoodie. However, for the transparent background, you will have to have a premium Canva account. So if you don't have one, you can just download the image without a transparent background and do a quick Google search for free transparent background. And you've got these websites right here that can pretty much do it for free. So remove background from image for free, upload the image right here, and you'll be able to download it right away with a transparent background. Then we're simply going to download the file and we're going to head back to AutoDS and we're going to click on add image and we're going to add that text. And lo and behold, world's best dad. Of course, you can add images, you can add whatever you want. I'm just trying to keep it super simple for this example. And this is how we're going to print that on the front side. We can do the same thing for the back or of course use a different image. But for this example, we're going to keep it simple. So world's best dad front and back on the blue variation of this hoodie. And should go without saying, but you can of course move the text around and make sure that it's exactly where you want it to be. And you can also use these to center it horizontally and vertically for both the front and the back. And that is pretty much all that there is to it. You can go ahead and click on preview in order to see what it looks like without the grid lines. And here is what it's going to look like. This is your preview mockup and looks pretty good. Pretty simple. Only took me a few minutes to make this. All right. So once we're happy, we're going to go ahead and click on save. And we can see right here, item is being added to drafts. The draft upload process has finished. So now if I go to the draft section of my store, I can see that product right here. And this is where, of course, I'm going to optimize the title and the descriptions. But we can see our product right here with the variation that we chose, which in this case was the blue one. And we've got the rest of the information right here. And once we're done optimizing it, we're going to go ahead 
right and click on save and import and that is pretty much all that there is to it and once an order comes in you will be able to fulfill it automatically using the fulfilled by AutoDS service that of which I will get to soon. So whether you want to use the free version of Canva or GIMP.org which is absolutely free it doesn't really matter the only difference between them is that through GIMP.org you can extract the images at 300 dpi which is the recommended setting for high quality prints. So there is a difference between the two but I'm pretty sure that you'll be happy with any of those two tools. And that pretty much sums up how to use the print on demand feature in AutoDS. So have fun and get creative. Next, let's move over to the draft section of AutoDS and see exactly how that works. So here is the drafts page. And as I showed you earlier, all of the products that you will import to the draft section of your store will end up here where you will be able to optimize these products and make sure that they look really good before importing them to the product section of your store where they're actually live and anyone will be able to see them and purchase those products. So here is the draft section and let's just choose any one of these products here like this wedding decoration artificial rose right here. So I'm going to click on the arrow and it will bring down the product editor. And as we can see right here, we've got a few tabs that we can work with. The first one is the product tab, which holds the title, the collection that it belongs to, the tags, shipping methods, country location, default city, brand, and monitoring for automation. So what exactly do all these fields mean? Well, the first one obviously is the title. And in this case, it's on a Shopify store. So we have a maximum of 255 characters, which we can fit in the title. Doesn't mean that we want to use that much, but that is the limit. And this is how much we've been using so far, which is simply the title that was taken from the supplier. And to understand who the supplier is and more information, we can simply look here on the drafts line for this product. So we can see, first of all, that the destination here is, a, is my Shopify store called Nightline. Light stars. We can also add an internal note here for this product that only we will be able to see. We can see that the supplier here is AliExpress China and that this product has 12 variations, all of which we will see soon. And we can click here to view the source product on the supplier's website, which in this case, as you saw, was AliExpress China. So here is where that link led me to. And we can see all of the product variations right here. And as I scroll down, we can see that the description doesn't really have a description. It just has a whole bunch of images. But none of this is important because everything here got transferred to our store to the draft section on AutoDS. So first we want to optimize the title. We do not want to use the same titles that's being used, especially on suppliers like AliExpress, where it's very unprofessional and just a whole bunch of random words that describe the product just pushed in the title. And as you saw, nothing in the description. So what we can do here is either generate your own title, but in order to generate titles that actually work, you can use the optimize title with AI option to allow artificial intelligence to create a really good title for your product. So again, I can either manually write any title like artificial flowers for Mother's Day and so on, but it's much better to do it with AI because this is simply going to give you ideas that maybe you haven't even thought of that could work really well for your store. So here you can choose to either go with a title optimizer, description optimizer, which in this case, we didn't really get a description or title and description. So here, for example, I'm just going to go with a title. You can choose if you want it to sound more professional, more sellable, funny, or optimized for social networks. And you can also choose a temperature, balanced, more creative, or more precise. And you can see here how much credit it's going to cost you. You can always top up your AI balance by clicking here on buy more. So I'm going to go ahead and click on AI, right? And we're going to see exactly what AI is going to cook up for us here. And here is the title generated by AI. Colorful foil plated roses, vibrant wedding, Mother's Day and Valentine's Day decorative gifts, plastic artificial flowers. Looks a little bit better than wedding decorations, colorful foil plated roses, Mother's Day and Valentine's Day decorations, gift, plastic artificial flower. This one just speaks a little bit better. And the text is formatted in a better way. And of course, you can keep playing with it, generate more titles or play around with your titles to just make it more optimized. But this is definitely good enough and it's got better punctuation. All right, so we're gonna leave this title. Next, collections, of course, is only good for Shopify. So if you're using Shopify, you can add your collection here. And tags, for example, you can add another tag called Mother's Day and any product that's related to Mother's Day, you can add that tag here. And then before and after Mother's Day, you can load up this tag and see how well it performed for you to learn what products are selling really well under that tag and what products you should rethink for the next time when that season comes. 
So product tags are very good for product analyzation and optimization further down the road. Then we've got shipping methods. So when the system grabs this product from the supplier, from AliExpress in this example, do you want the AutoDS system to price this product according to the cheapest shipping method as long as tracking is available? or the cheapest method with or without tracking, which personally I do not recommend because we do want to ship out our products with tracking information so we can always prove to our buyers if they say that they didn't receive the item, for example, we can show them that they did receive it by providing tracking information. Or we can choose fastest with tracking. So choose the fastest shipping option, doesn't matter how much it costs as long as it has tracking. My default recommendation is cheapest with tracking, but of course you can do whatever is good for your business. Then you've got the country location. So make sure that this is right. If the product is coming out of China, then you want to have China here. If it's coming out of the United States, then choose the US. And the same goes for the rest of the countries. The default city doesn't really matter what city you choose as long as it's in the right country. And that should pretty much be it. And for brand, you can choose if you want to use the brand that's listed on the supplier's website, or you can simply write something general like branded and under monitoring I recommend having everything on stock monitoring price monitoring and automatic orders this means that every time the stock status changes on your supplier's website then the same stock change will update on your store as well as the prices so if the price drops or if the price raises any change that happens to the price on the supplier's website the same change will happen on your dropshipping store while keeping your desired profit so we always want to have price and stock monitoring enabled if we don't want any of these mistakes to happen, like people purchasing from our stores, even though the supplier is out of stock or purchasing at a really cheap price, even though the supplier raised the price and you pretty much see where I'm going here. Automatic orders, which I will also get to soon, is a good thing to have because the more automation we have, the better. We do not want to spend all day processing our orders or doing product research or importing our products because this will limit our business from growing and expanding. So that is what we have under the products tab in the draft section. Next, we've got the products description. So again, as we can see right here, everything here was transferred from our supplier to our AutoDS drafts page. But in this case, there is no description. So we can't optimize it with AI because there is no text in the description in this case. In other cases, of course, you will be able to. But what we can do here is use free AI tools like ChatGPT to generate a nice description for us. So here, for example, we can simply copy the product's title, go to ChatGPT and ask it to generate an engaging product description for this product. Here is the product and paste the title. And that's it. I just gave them the title that I generated with AI. And now AI is going to generate a description from the title that was generated from AI. And just look at this amazing thing, introducing our colorful foil plated roses. And we've got this whole description that really is sellable unlike traditional flowers that fade our artificial roses stand out and pass the test of time they're not just decorative accents or symbols of love make a statement that lasts give the gift of eternal beauty so anyway beautiful beautiful description that we could have also generated using optimized description with ai if we would have had any text here in the first place so what i'm going to do is i'm simply going to move the images down and use the text up here so first we're going to have the text, then we're going to have the images, and we already have a product page that I guarantee no other dropshipper has for this product. So that is how we're going to generate wonderful product descriptions for our products. And now let's move over to variants or variations. So as we can see right here, the AutoDS system grabbed all of the product's variations from the source product, as we can see right here, and added them as variations down here. Now here you have more optimization power. For example, we can enter each variation like this blue one right here and change whatever we want like how much fees we're paying. In this example, we can say that we're paying 20% fees. And on top of that, we wanna have another 30% profit. And let's say another $2 fixed profit. So that means that we're gonna have to sell at 464. And I wanna round it to, let's say 0.97 cents. So it's gonna be 497. And you can also do a price slasher. So compare price and drop the price by 20% in order to get to this 497. And you've got more general fields that you can edit like the name of the variation, in this case, the color is blue, so I wouldn't want to change it, the default quantity, the item weight, the specifications, most of which got automated for us. So I'm going to go ahead and click on save. 
and we can do the same for the rest of the variations. Now, one special thing here that you can do is you can grab more products that are similar to this one, like let's say accessories, maybe vases for these roses, or maybe additional roses that we found from other suppliers and even in different regions and add them as additional variations to this product. So for example, you can just go to another website, like let's say Walmart, just throwing it out there and write artificial rose. And let's say you also want this variation right here. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the URL and I'm going to head back to the drafts under variants. I'm going to click on add variants, add that URL right here. And you can see that Walmart was automatically selected and the region is the United States. Then we're going to go ahead and click on add variant. And now it's telling me that red already exists. So I'm going to take the red one and I'm going to rename it because it wanted to name that one red too, because that's what it's called on Walmart. So I'm going to call this red one and let's try to add that one again. And it took less than a few seconds and we can see it right down here, color red, that's the name of this variation. So this of course is gonna be red too. But in any case, that is how you can create a product page and make it different than any other seller online. This gives you a huge advantage over the competition. So take advantage of it. That is the variance tab. Now let's move over to the images. So here is obviously all of the images that we have from the original product on AliExpress that got transferred to our product page. Now here you have a few options. You can use another image as your main image. So for example, if you didn't like this one, you can choose any other image. Like let's say you can use this one that shows all of the colors that you have available or a specific color. So just click on set as main image and that will be done. But you can take it one step further and use our advanced image editor to optimize the image even more. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on edit right here when I'm hovering over the image that I would like to edit. And here you can see all of the different things that I can do, like crop this image, flip it, rotate, draw something on it, add shapes, add icons, add text, add masks and additional filters. So for example, let me just add a text and I'm going to write right here, free worldwide shipping, just as an example. And I'm going to go ahead and move that to, let's say, right about here. So this is just a small example. Doesn't really look that good, but this just shows some of the things that you can do here. And again, make your images stand out more than what other online sellers are doing. Okay, so you can see that my new image right here with the free worldwide shipping text. And you have a few of those main options right here to rotate, to flip, even before opening the advanced editor, download the image, resize, and so forth. And you can always add additional images, whether from your hard drive or from other websites. Then you've got item specifications, which is pretty much the specifications that we're seeing right here from your supplier that got transferred automatically to AutoDS. And the system was even able to pull more information than what I'm seeing there. Here, you can edit any specification that you want. For example, material, plastic, you can add aluminum or whatever you want. You can delete specifications and you can add new specifications like type flower. And you can also edit all item specifications at once if needed. Once you're done, of course, you're going to save. And once you're done with everything, you're going to go ahead and click on import. And what this does is it's going to simply import the product from the draft section of your store to the product section of AutoDS, meaning now it's live on your store and anyone can view it and purchase the product. Now, even though I imported that product right away to my store, and right now you can see that the product has been imported to my store, let's say you do not want to import it right away. Let's say that you want to schedule it for a later time and date. So you already optimized the product, but you want it to go live in, let's say, a few days from now. So let's take this LED strip light product, for example. And let's say you finished with the whole editing process as I just showed you. And here you can click on more options, these three dots right here and go ahead and click on schedule listing. And here you can choose a future time and date to publish this product. So let's say today's Monday, I wanna publish this one on Thursday at a specific time. And we're gonna go ahead and click on schedule. So now the draft has been sent to scheduled. So instead of it being here on the drafts tab, it's right here under scheduled. Now heading back to the drafts tab, you can see that we have additional options like doing bulk edits. So for example, I can grab multiple products or let's say all of the products that I have on this page and then I can click on bulk edit. I can even select all the products, but that's a little bit too much for this example. So bulk edit, and then you can add an item to edit. So what do you wanna change out of all of these products that you selected? Do you wanna change the fees percentage, how much profit you're making in a fixed amount or in a percentage, or the quantity of the products or rounding the cents, shipping methods, shipping prices, automation, monitoring, and so forth. 
So if I choose one of them, like the fees percentage, then here you can define what is the fees percentage that you want for all of these products that you selected. So that is the bulk editor. You can also remove all of these products. You can import them directly to the product section of your store or do a bulk AI rewrite for the titles and descriptions of those products or bulk schedule these listings to import at a later time and date. Furthermore, clicking here on expand all will open the editor for all of these products on the drafts page. And you can click on view history to view all of the history that happened on your draft section. So we can see today that two products were imported successfully to our stores. So from the drafts to the product section of our stores, you can click on details to get more details and you can continue going back to previous dates to see what actions you took from the draft section of your store at any time and date. And that pretty much summarizes all of the magic that you can do on the draft section of AutoDS. Quick tip, make sure that your products are super optimized so that you can make them stand out and look much better than any other dropshipper out there using the examples that I just showed you. So now that we understand the drafts page, let's move over to the products page and see what the differences are between drafts and products. Besides, of course, the obvious that products means that these products are now live on our stores. So this is what the products page looks like. And at a first glance, it could look quite similar to the draft section. Only here you see that we do not have an arrow to edit these products. In order to do that, we're going to click on the product and it's going to open it in a new tab where we can optimize the product quite similar to what we saw on the drafts page. But let's go back to the products page. So this is that flower that we just imported to our stores and we can see right here what date it was uploaded on. So it's not April Fool's. It really was uploaded at this day, which is today while I'm recording this video. Here, just like the drafts page, we can add an internal note, which only we will be able to see. And with these three dots, we we have more options like editing the product, adding a specific tag, which we can do in the editor anyway, delete this product, or also make a sourcing request. Now, a sourcing request means that it's going to ask the system to find a better supplier for this product, either with faster shipping or with a cheaper source price in case we're not happy with the suppliers that we're working with. In this case, it's AliExpress, and it would be a great idea to make a sourcing request on those products. As you can see right here, it will cost one auto order credit, and we'll talk about automatic orders soon and what their credits means. However, if it is on your products page, you do not have to make a sourcing request. It's better to do so once you actually get an order so that you won't have to make a hundred or a thousand sourcing requests for everything you have on your products page and just waste a thousand auto order credits for that, it's better to just make it for the products that you're actually selling. So we're going to get to that soon when we get to the orders page, but it is possible to make a sourcing request directly from the products page. Then we've got the variations. So the total amount of variations, as we saw right here, 13 variations, all of them are in stock on our supplier's website, which means that they're all in stock on our stores as well. And here we have on hold and out of stock. So if we have any variations like these men's fashion skinny jeans right here, we can see that we have 24 variations in stock, but 18 are out of stock. So if there were any variations that were out of stock, we would see them right here. On hold means that the system took them out of stock because there's a certain setting inside our configuration that made the system take this product out of stock on our stores, even though it is in stock on our supplier stores. So while we didn't touch settings yet, let's say, for example, you set in your supplier settings that you do not want to have products in stock that take more than seven days to ship. And some of these variations are in stock, but they take longer than seven days to ship. So they're going to move not to out of stock, but rather to on hold. Like this example right here, this stroller cup with phone holder. So we've got 15 variations in stock, but two that are on hold. And if you use your mouse to hover over it, you can see the reason why it is on hold. So you can see right here, over shipping time, one variation. So that's 50% of the two. So one is over the shipping time that you have in your settings. And the second has a new ID. This means that the supplier changed the product ID. So you're going to just have to update the new product ID on the variation section so that AutoDS can synchronize with the new item ID. And that is just another example of products that you have on hold out of stock. And you can always hover your mouse to understand what the reason is, why it's on hold and why it's out of stock. Next, we can see the total amount of variations that we have. So here we have 13 variations, all of which are in stock. How many of those variations sold? DWS stands for days without sale. So how many days went on without this product selling on your store? Of course, it's on zero because I just uploaded it right now out of stock days. So if this product was out of stock, how long has it been out of stock for? 
and the prices, how much we're buying it for and how much we're selling it for. And we can see that it starts from $1.30 to $22 and $1.75 selling price to $27.82. Of course, we didn't optimize our pricing yet. That's why the buy and selling price are so close to one another and it shouldn't be that way. But this, of course, is for example purposes. Soon I will show you how you can edit all your prices and your profit percentages and everything. And here we can see the profit range. So we're going to profit anywhere between 50 cents to 475 because we did not edit that yet. And here we can see the item ID. So this column can show you where you're purchasing the product from. So if you click on it, it'll take you directly to your source page which in this example, as we saw, is AliExpress. And the next one is your store ID. So this is my Shopify store that I added this product to. And if I click on it, I will be taken to my product page on my Shopify store with this product that was imported really quickly. So we can see right here that everything got moved over from AutoDS to our product page on Shopify or wherever else we're selling. So this is the title that we generated with the help of artificial intelligence, as well as the description right here. Whereas if you remember on AliExpress, there was no product description. So this was generated just for us. And of course it is unique as well as the title. We've got the price right here. We've got all of the different variations right here. This was the variation that we added from the other supplier. If you remember from Walmart and the rest of the variations are from AliExpress. So of course the buyer can choose whatever they want to see. And if you remember, we did the price slasher for one of them. So it's this one right here. Instead of 1797, it's 1497 on sale price slasher with all of the effects that we added, as well as all of the products images, all that was imported automatically and all of the images that we have in the product description. So everything was transferred over. Everything is completely optimized for our stores and it's that easy to start selling trending products. And so that is how the preview section on the products page works. And we can see a similar example for the next row right here, whereas this dehumidifier is being sourced from Amazon and sold on a Shopify store. And as we continue, we've got more columns like tags and we can click up here on customized display. If there are more things that you want to see, like for example, let's also add collections and you can also arrange what you would like to see first. For example, first I want to see how many times the unit sold, then how many times it got views, then how many days it went on without getting sales and so forth. When we're done, we're going to click on update and the columns will be customized according to our selection. Now, what else do we have on the products page? One of the most impactful features here is the smart filter system. So we can see up here, it says add filter. So I can click on that and we can see a whole bunch of filters in order to narrow down and see only the products that we would like to see on our products page. And this is especially good if you've got hundreds and even thousands of products. So for example, you can choose what selling channel you would like to see or what supplier or product tags or specific titles selling prices, buying prices, personal notes that you added to these products. You can also filter by profit, by the quantity, by the inventory status, or in other words, in stock, out of stock. So here, for example, let's go for inventory status. And I want to see all of the products that are out of stock or on hold. I want to see why these products are not in stock. So you're going to click on done. And now it's going to show you all of the variations, as we can see right here, where you have either out of stock or on hold. And of course, simply hover over to see the reason why it's out of stock or why it's on hold and take the appropriate measures to make sure that all of the products in your store are in stock. So use the smart filter system to narrow down on your products and analyze or filter or fix whatever it is that needs fixing on your products page all through the smart filter system that you can see right here. Another thing that we can do with the smart filter system is to create our own customized filters and also save them and use that again for future use. For example, let's say I want to see all of the products on my store that are making a profit, let's say greater than $5 in profit. Okay. But I want more filters, not just that. So right now I can see all of those products that are making over $5 in profit, but I would like to add another filter. And on top of seeing the ones that have over $5 in profit, I want to see all the products that let's say didn't sell at all. So sold count, let's say less than one. So these are all the products that are making over $5 in profit that haven't sold yet. And I can continue adding more filters as I see fit. So let's say add another one where the inventory status is either out of stock or on hold. So now I'm seeing all of the products making over $5 in profit that didn't sell yet that are out of stock or on hold. And most likely I do not want these products on my store because they're just wasting space for me on my store. And in this case, I can either remove them all or find another supplier who does have them in stock or make whatever changes that I need. But let's say I want to run this filter again tomorrow and the next week. So what I can do is instead of doing that all together again, I can simply 
actually save this filter right here by clicking on save, give this filter a name, so out of stock, not sold, and click on save filter. Now let's clear all of the filters and I'm going to click on add filter, only now instead of doing all of that one by one, I'm going to go to saved filters and I'm going to choose out of stock, not sold, and I'm going to see all of those prerequisites that I already added, profit greater than five, sold less than one, and inventory status out of stock and on hold. I highly recommend using this to save time and to optimize your store and analyze your products the right way and save a lot of time managing your store using the saved filters feature. Next, you can see up here how many products we have on the selected stores and also untracked products. Untracked products means that you have products on your store that AutoDS does not have all of the information on them, so it cannot synchronize between your selling channel and your supplier the way that it's supposed to. And this can happen from one of few reasons, the main one being that you added a store to AutoDS, that store already had products inside, so AutoDS recognizes those products, but they don't know who the supplier is. So I'm going to click here on the untracked products to see what they are. Then I'm going to feed the system the information that it needs in order to synchronize with this product. So here, for example, I've got this rear view mirror film on one of my stores. And we can see right here that it belongs to Nightlight Stars, a Shopify store, and how many variations we have there. And we can view the product on our store. And if I click here, I can either delete this untracked product or show the variations inside. But what's important is that I want to have it connected to my store. So I'm going to click on connect. And here the system needs the URL or the product ID. So who is the source here? Is it AliExpress? Is it another supplier? And what is the URL of the product or again, the product ID, then you're going to go ahead and click on add once it's done. And AutoDS will be able to synchronize this product on your store with which supplier is coming from so that you can have all of your automation options inside. And of course, this product will be fully automated on your dropshipping store. So that is how untracked products works. Next, you've got the bulk product selector, and this is pretty similar to what we saw on the drafts page. So you can select a whole bunch of products, whichever ones you want, and do bulk edit selections and changes on them. Again, pretty similar to what we saw on the drafts page with all of the different things that you can change on those products instead of having to do it one by one, or you can bulk delete them or do a bulk AI rewrite. And that is as simple as it is. You already saw the examples. Here, you also have a history, very similar again to the drafts page where you can see all of the history everything that happened on your products page on any specific time and day. Now you also have a search function up here. And this isn't only for the products page. You can do a full search on AutoDS and find a product, whether it's in the product section and the draft section, or if it's an order or anything else. So for example, let's say you're looking for headphones. So I'm going to go ahead and search for the word headphones. And right here, it's searching under my, my products page for headphones. And we can see this original wireless Bluetooth headset right here. But I can also click on drafts to see if there's any headphones on my drafts page, which in this case, you can see that I have one. And if you would have any orders on headphones, you would see it right here, which in this example, I do have an order for headphones and you can get the order information right here. So you can simply click on it and it'll take you to that order on the orders page. So that is how the products page works on AutoDS. Use it to your full advantage to be able to see what's going on in your stores, what's selling well, and take advantage of the smart filter system to help you with all of that. Keep in mind that you can import products directly to the product section of your store, but I do highly recommend to start off in the draft section, optimize your products before transferring them to the product section of your dropshipping stores. Now let's go over the products page on AutoDS. So we're going to click on orders. So this is what the orders page looks like. And here you can see all of the orders on your dropshipping stores that you selected up here. So what exactly are we seeing here and what can we do with the orders page? First, we can see the products that actually sold on our store. So we got the thumbnail of the product and the title, as well as the variation that sold. Then we've got the date when the order actually came in. Now you may be seeing some order dates here because it is a demo account. If you would like to see my personal account, which is pretty much blurred out, then it looks like this. And of course you can see the more recent dates. So you can see that every day, several orders come in. So these are the dates. And these are the products which are currently being blurred out. So let's go back to the demo store. So again, these are the products. These are the dates. Then we've got the order statuses. So this depends on whether you are processing orders manually by yourself, by simply going to your supplier's website and purchasing the product and shipping it directly to your end customer, or you're fulfilling orders automatically. 
I'm going to talk about all of these methods soon, but first let's understand the order statuses. So first we've got the pending status. The order will come in in pending status and move to ordered once it's ordered, move to shipped once it's shipped and the tracking information is available and delivered once it's actually been delivered to your buyer. Now you can change these statuses manually if you are processing your orders manually. So for example, it will start as we said in pending and you will move it to ordered with the buy order ID that you're getting from your supplier and shipped once it's shipped with the tracking number and the shipping carrier that was used to deliver that product. And of course, delivered once it's delivered, canceled if for any reason you had to cancel the order. Now, before I move over to the automatic methods, let's just move over the rest of the columns. Estimated arrival you will get if you're using automatic orders, you'll get an estimated arrival date. And this icon over here shows that this order was completed by the fulfilled by AutoDS service, which is one of the automated order services that we have and the most recommended one. Then we've got internal notes, so you can add an internal note for this order. And the three dots for more options will allow you to either edit the order, edit the product inside the order, open up a ticket about this order, or create a sourcing request, all of which I will get to soon. Next, we've got the prices. So how much am I buying the product for and how much did it sell for? How many taxes did I pay for this product? And what is my total profit? Then we've got the item ID. So we've got the item on the supplier's website and we've got the item on our dropshipping store, the total quantity that was purchased. So in this case, two air tags were purchased. DAS stands for days awaiting shipment. So how many days have passed without tracking information being updated on this order? The customer's name, the customer's address, which dropshipping store it's sold on, and the order IDs. So this, for example, is an FBA order. In other words, fulfilled by AutoDS. So it was fulfilled automatically by the system. But if you fulfill the order manually, you will see your order number right here and you can click on it and it'll take you to your order on your supplier's website and the sell ID on your selling channel. So here it's Shopify. If I click on it, it'll take me to the orders page on my Shopify store, but I really don't need that because I do have everything right here. More options like the product tag that's sold, and you can click on customize display to rearrange the columns that you see and turn them on and off. So that's an explanation of all of the columns that we have on the orders page. On top of that, we do have filters. So you can filter to see whatever you want, like orders that are under a specific status. For example, show me all of the products that have been ordered, but let's say not shipped yet. And let me also see, you can add more, like show me all the orders that were canceled and ordered. Then you're gonna click on done and it's gonna show you anything that's ordered and canceled. In this case, there is nothing canceled. You can of course continue adding additional filters according to whatever you wanna see on your orders page. For example, the prices, the order IDs, the selling quantities, the buyer name and so forth. And if you click on the order itself, it will open up the orders details. So let's click on this cupping therapy item right here. And we can see the customer's full details right here, the buyer, the order, so the order status, the tags, any internal notes that you wrote with the buy order ID and tracking information, shipping carriers, the prices and so forth. And up here we can see when it was sold, what time it was sold, who the supplier is, and you can click here to also edit the product on your store. Next, we've got the product's information right here. So we received this product from a sourcing request. If you would like to change where this product is being fulfilled from, or in other words, who the supplier is for this product, you can click right here on fulfill this order using a different product. We're going to go over sourcing requests soon, so don't worry about that. But this currently shows you where the product is being sourced from. And of course, you can always change that according to whatever you want. For example, if we open this air tag right here, if I click on products, since this one was not sourced using product sourcing on AutoDS, you can see that the supplier is AliExpress, the warehouse is China. This is the buy URL, but let's say you want to use a different supplier for this product. So you can either make a new sourcing request. Again, I will go over that in about a minute, or you can just change the supplier to a different one. Let's say instead of using AliExpress, you want to use Amazon. So you want to put the Amazon URL right here and the Amazon ASIN, or in other words, the ID right here, which you can also grab from the URL, and of course, change the region to the United States or whatever region it belongs to. And that is pretty much it. You can just save it. And now you can fulfill the order automatically if you're using automatic orders, and the automatic order system will use the supplier that you added right here on the product. So you can always change that before fulfilling your order. So that is the orders page. So what we just saw is the same as clicking on these three dots and clicking on edit order. It'll take you to the same screen and that is pretty much how it is done. So what are the automatic order methods and what else can we do when we're processing our orders manually?
First of all, if you are doing it manually, what you can do is download the AutoDS Chrome extension that I talked about earlier in this video. There's a link below this video if you need to use it in the description. And you can open up the order details as I showed you. And up here, you'll have the copy address function. Again, without the Chrome extension, you will not see this. So download the AutoDS Helper Chrome extension. Then we're going to click on copy address. And here we can choose if we want to copy only the address or copy the address with the phone number or copy with HipShipper if you're fulfilling your orders internationally using HipShipper, which I will talk about when we go over the settings inside the AutoDS system. But here, for example, let's say we want to process this order manually with our supplier, but we don't want to copy the name and copy the last name and copy the address. We want to do it all in one click. So we can click on copy only address or copy address with phone, doesn't really matter. And when you're on your supplier's website purchasing the product and it's asking you what address do you want to ship to, you'll have a paste function where you will be able to paste it. Let me show you really quickly what I mean. I've got this product in my cart right here on Amazon. So I'm going to go ahead and proceed to check out. And in the shipping address, I'm going to create a new address. Then we're going to click on add a new address. And here I can simply click on paste. I will only have this option, of course, if I have the AutoDS Chrome extension. So I copied it from AutoDS, from the orders page on AutoDS. And here you can see that all the information is being added automatically, even though I'm processing the order manually. So this way you will not make a mistake with the shipping address and stuff like that. Then just go ahead and click on use this address. And it's that simple. That will be added to your address book. However, this is still the manual method. Even though we're trying to automate some aspects of it, once you have 10 orders, 50 orders, 100 orders per day, you're going to be spending all day just fulfilling your orders. And this is why you do need to have automatic orders. And in AutoDS, there are two automatic order methods. Let's go over them one by one and understand the differences between them. So we have automatic orders and we have another automatic order feature called fulfilled by AutoDS. Fulfilled by AutoDS is the recommended method here, but let me explain the two and the differences between them. So automatic orders allows you to automate all of your orders. As soon as they come in, they will be processed automatically by the system. And both methods, both automatic orders and fulfilled by AutoDS support automatic tracking updates. So not only will the order be automated as soon as it comes in, it will be processed and sent out to your customers, even while you're traveling and sleeping or visiting your family and friends, but also the tracking information as soon as it's available from your supplier that will also be updated automatically on your AutoDS orders page as well as your selling channel. So your customers will always be able to see what's going on with their orders and everything will be updated as soon as it's available. However, with automatic orders, it is using your buyer accounts. In other words, this means that if you want to enable automatic orders, let's say from my AliExpress account or my Amazon account, then the system is going to log into my buyer accounts on those platforms on my suppliers websites and it's going to purchase the product using my payment methods under my personal accounts whereas fulfilled by AutoDS uses AutoDS's buyer accounts so this means that you do not need to have any buyer accounts with your suppliers you can rely on AutoDS to fulfill your orders using AutoDS's buyer accounts the only thing that you need to do is top up your balance up here so that the system will be able to use this balance to pay for your orders and you can top up your balance by simply hovering over balance up here and go ahead and click on load. Then you can choose the amount that you would like to load. Choose your payment method, whether it's Payoneer, credit card or PayPal. And here you're going to add your payment method. So whether it's any of these methods, you're going to add it here. And this is the method that it's going to use. You're going to go ahead and click on load balance and that balance will be loaded onto the system. Now, besides that, you'll also need auto order credits. Any automatic order, whether it's being fulfilled by automatic orders or fulfilled by AutoDS, will take up one auto order credit. So to top that up, you can simply click on buy credits right here and choose whichever package suits your needs. Once you have your auto order credits, you can start fulfilling your orders automatically, whether using the automatic orders method, which uses your buyer accounts, to the more recommended method of using fulfilled by AutoDS and allowing AutoDS to use their buyer accounts to fulfill your orders. One of the biggest advantages that you have here, besides having to use your own personal accounts and opening up more accounts and adding your personal payment methods inside those buyer accounts, another advantage that you have using fulfilled by AutoDS is that you do not have to worry about your buyer accounts ever getting locked, which happens on marketplaces, for example, like Amazon, when you start to drop ship way too many items and ship out a lot of products to different locations. At some point, Amazon can lock your buyer account and say, hey, we suspect that you're drop shipping using our platform. We do not like that. So your buyer account is now locked. You will not have to worry about any of that when you're using the fulfilled by AutoDS service using any of the suppliers that AutoDS supports which is pretty much all US suppliers. So a US supplier using a USD currency that AutoDS supports can be supported under fulfilled by AutoDS. 
So when an order comes in using automatic orders or fulfilled by AutoDS, it will get sent to auto order. It will move to ordered with the order ID once it's ordered. It will move to shipped with the tracking information once it's shipped and delivered once it's delivered to your buyers. So as we can see on my personal account, we have a lot of orders that are completed by the Fulfilled by AutoDS service. I've been using this service personally for years. And here, for example, we can see that this one right here was delivered. You can also click on these products and create a return request if the customer would like to return the product. Then what happens is the system will upload a return label right next to the order, which you can then download and send to your customers. Of course, that only happens if you are eligible for a return. And this is what that is going to look like. We can see right here, download return label. And if I click on that, it'll of course download the return label, which I can send to my buyer. Once my buyer returns the product, I can send him a refund and we will get a refund accordingly to our managed balance as well. So easy one click returns is another reason why I highly recommend the fulfilled by AutoDS service, simply making your job much easier and allowing you to invest your time in scaling your dropshipping business. And if you need help with any one of your orders, you can easily open a ticket in the system. All you need to do is click on the three dots next to your order and click on create a ticket about the order. Then you'll be prompted with this screen right here. In this case, your order status is ordered, which means it was already ordered on the supplier's website. And you can click to open a drop down menu and address exactly what you would like to know. For example, tracking details request, what is the estimated delivery time, cancel the order, or you can also write your own message. So here, just write whatever you want to know, click submit, and the customer support team will get back to you as soon as possible. One last important note to take into consideration when using Fulfilled by AutoDS. When an order comes in, it will either go automatically to in-order progress, like this order right here, which is about to be fulfilled using the Fulfilled by AutoDS service, or it can start in pending status as we can see here. In this case, we're going to have to change the status and send it to auto order. Otherwise, the order will stay in pending. So if you would like to get the order and pending status, all you have to do is make sure in the settings, we'll click on order settings, and we'll make sure that only process orders using the Fulfilled by AutoDS service is on. If the Fulfilled by AutoDS service is on, as well as automatic orders, then when an order comes in, it'll automatically move to order progress. If Fulfilled by AutoDS is checked in without automatic orders, then the order will come in in pending status and we'll have to manually switch it to auto order. And that is how Fulfilled by AutoDS works. And last but not least, under our orders page, we can create a sourcing request. And here's everything on how that works. So when an order comes in, you will be able to make a sourcing request and allow the system to find a better supplier for that product before you fulfill it. So what happens during this time is when you make a sourcing request, the system is going to look for a cheaper and or faster supplier before you fulfill this order so that you'll be able to either ship it faster or make more profit or a little bit of both and also connect yourself with a private dropshipping supplier instead of working with whatever supplier you had for this product. So here under orders, we can click on sourcing request and we'll be able to see all of the products in our orders page that we can create a sourcing request on. So here, for example, I've got this product, which is blurred out because it's my personal account, but you can make a sourcing request and you can see here under sourcing status that it is new. So we did not make a sourcing request for any of these products. I can go ahead and click on sourcing request and within a day or two, the system will get back to me with an answer if it was able to find a better supplier for this product, along with all of the product's information and the supplier and so forth. So let me show you what it looks like once you actually get a recommendation for your source products. So here we can see all of the products that we got an approved sourcing request for. So here, for example, we've got a diamond tennis bracelet and you can see that the sourcing status here is ready, meaning there is a better source available for this product. Here we can see the create date or when the sourcing request was created, as well as the source price, how long it takes to ship, what store it belongs to. And we've got source actions. We can view the product on our AutoDS account or view the product in our orders page. But more importantly, we want to see the sourcing details. What were you actually able to get for me here. So we're going to click on sourcing details and here we can get the information that we got for this product. So this of course is the product that we sold on our stores and we've got different variations for this product, different sizes, and in this case only one white gold color, the total shipping time and the shipping price, but we can also change the shipping too. So if you want to ship to a different location, or if you want to change the day range or how long it takes to deliver the item, you can choose from whatever option you want here. And you've got the total shipping cost, the name of the shipping carrier, and how long it will take to arrive to the customer. 
Now, once you are happy with your selection, you can go ahead and click on link product. And then what happens is it will link the new source supplier to the product on the orders page. So if you fulfill the order after linking the product, it will fulfill the order using the fulfilled by AutoDS service with this private sourced supplier. You can also send a message to the supplier about the sourcing request because again, it is a private supplier and you can send private messages to them. So if you want to ask anything, if you want to get anything off your mind, this is the place to do it. So once you're ready, of course, you're going to click on link product. And once you do that, the sourcing status is going to move from ready. In other words, we have a sourcing request for you to linked, as you can see right here, for this hair care and styling product. This means that this sourcing request was linked. And when we fulfill this order for this product, it's going to get sent out with the linked supplier instead of the normal supplier that you uploaded the product with. Now, one more important note for the sourcing feature is to make sure that you're adding the right variations to the sourcing request. Let me show you what I mean by that. So for this hairstyling product here, I'm going to click on sourcing details and then I'm going to click on link product. Now here you see it says only the selected variations will be linked to the sourcing request. This means that there are several variations available for this product from the private supplier and we want to make sure that we're linking it to the right variations on your product page. So here for example we can see that this hairstyler has a UK connector. So we want to make sure that this variation does have the right product assigned to it. So the right variation from the supplier assigned to the right variation on AutoDS. So here, for example, we're going to go with British standard because that is the UK connection. Then we've got the US connection. So we want to make sure that we have the US connector here. Then we've got the AU or in other words, Australia. So we want to make sure that the Australia power regulation is added here and EU is your Europe, so European regulations. And now we know 100% that we're connecting the right variations from our private source supplier to the right variations on our store. And last but not least, before we click on link product and link it to the source supplier, we can also add it to the unfulfilled orders. So this means that whatever orders we have for this product on our orders page that we didn't fulfill yet, these new settings will be added to those unfulfilled orders as well, and not just for the future orders. So now we're going to go ahead and click on link product. And that is pretty much all there is to it. We are now going to source this product privately with the source supplier. I highly recommend using the sourcing request to find better suppliers and connect with them on a private level where you will be able to have a distinct advantage over 99.9% .9 of other dropshippers out there. And that is how the sourcing option works. Now, if you're still wondering about the automatic orders methods and how you can set them up, whether it's automatic orders or fulfilled by AutoDS, all of that is done through the settings page, as well as many, many other settings inside AutoDS, which I will go over next. Last but definitely not least, we're going to go over the settings page and configure all of the right settings for our stores on AutoDS. Here is the settings page on AutoDS. We can select whatever store we would like to change the settings for. So for this example, I'm going to go for the Nightlight Stars Shopify store. And here we can select which supplier we would like to change the settings for. As we can see up here, we are under the supplier settings column. We've also got automations, templates, keywords, plans and add-ons, account and billing, users, buyer accounts, notifications, and store settings, all of which we'll go over soon. But we're going to start off with the supplier settings. So first choose what supplier you would like to edit the settings for when adding products from this supplier to this selected store that you have up here. So in this case, we're talking about from Amazon US as a supplier to our Shopify dropshipping stores. And these are the lister settings, or in other words, the importer or the uploader settings. So every time we add a product in this example from Amazon to our Shopify store, we would like the default product quantity to be X. So whatever you want, change that number there. And that's going to be the quantity for every product that you're adding from your supplier to your selling channel. So what happens if a customer purchases a product and now the quantity goes goes from five to four. The AutoDS system will simply bring it back up to five, and this will give customers the chance to add more than the quantity of one, so to add two or three to the carts, whereas if you only have one here, they will only be able to buy one product. So this is great for increasing your average order value. Next, you've got the default item country. So what is the default item country that products from this supplier are coming out of. So you can choose whatever country is right there and the default city. As long as the city is somewhere in the country, you should be fine. 
Next, you've got the shipping methods. So are we going with the cheapest shipping method? Are we going with the cheapest with tracking information available or fastest with tracking information available regardless of the price? So this means that the system is going to grab in this example, the cheapest option from the supplier that has tracking information available. And it's going to take that pricing into consideration. Under advanced lister settings, we've got more options. For example, to allow duplicates, to allow out of stock variations, to capitalize the first letter of every word in the title, to automatically fill in the brand, to split the variations into products. In other words, if there are variations like 10 variations on one product and we don't want to upload one product with 10 variations, we'd rather have each variation be its own standalone product. So in other words, 10 products instead of one product with 10 variations. To allow Vero or blocked keywords, to add categories to your tags. So whatever categories you have, you want to add that automatically as tags to the product to upload variations. If you don't have this clicked in, then of course it will only add the main product without all of the variations to apply a watermark, which you can configure in the settings to duplicate the main image up to 12 to allow marketplace sellers. If you're dropshipping from Amazon using Amazon as a supplier, and you don't only want to sell products that are prime. You also want to sell products that are sold from third party sellers or marketplace sellers and to allow stock and price monitoring. So whatever options you have, those are the options that you're going to have when adding products from this supplier to this store. Next, you've got AI optimization settings. So you can automatically optimize the titles and automatically optimize the descriptions when importing these products to your stores. And this way you don't even need to touch them at all in the draft section. You can even import them directly to the product section of your store since the titles and descriptions are already optimized. And you've also got default item specifics. So if you want permanent item specifics to show up on all of these products that you're adding from this supplier to this selling channel, then you can add them here like color black. But of course, be careful with this because you want to make sure that this is going to happen to all of the products that you're going to add from that supplier to that selling channel. So that is the lister settings. You can also click on copy from another supplier in case you already have lister settings that you set from a different supplier and you don't want to put all those settings again here. You can simply copy all of the settings that you have from another supplier so that you'll have the same settings here. Next, you've got pricing. So this is how the system is going to price the products automatically when you're adding them from your suppliers to your selling channel. So what we have here is first of all, how much fees we are paying. You can also click on help me calculate to help you understand that. So for example, let's say uh, you're dropshipping on Shopify and you're paying a 10% payment fee and another 5% store fee and another 2% additional fee. So final fee is 17%. You're most likely not going to pay that much, but this is just an example. So let's say your break even here is 17%. Then you've got the fee amount. So let's say on top of that 17%, I'm also paying another, I don't know, $2 a fixed fee amount. So that is your break even 17% plus two dollars so that means that the price of the item plus 17 percent plus two dollars is bringing me to my break even and on top of that i actually want to make a profit so here i'm going to choose that i want to make another 30 percent profit and another let's say one dollar fixed profit and i also want to make a minimum of three dollars of profit per product so we can see right here if we have an example, a product that costs us $100 and we want to make 30% profit and another $1 and we are paying 17% plus $2 as a fee. So that is our break even. So that means that if the product costs us $100 and this is the profit that we want to make, then this is the total selling price that's going to be for that product, $160.24. So if we save these settings, then this is how much profit we're going to make on top of our break even for every product that we add. And we'll be in the safe side knowing that we are making some good profits for these products and we're not selling them anywhere close to break even or losing money or forgetting to update our prices. Next, we can add dynamic profit. So this means that I want the system to automatically price my products if they cost, let's say, anywhere between zero to twenty dollars, I want to make 30 percent profit and another, let's say, one dollar fixed price. By the way, you don't have to have both. You can also have one. That's enough. And let's add another rule. Let's say any product that costs between twenty to fifty dollars, I want to make twenty eight percent profit. And let's say that's it and continue adding more rules. If it costs from fifty to one hundred dollars, I don't mind making twenty six percent profit. And let's say another, I don't know, two dollars is an example. And you can continue adding these rules. So when you you're adding products and they fall under these categories, under these specific conditions, then they will be priced according to what you set here. 
you can continue adding rules and removing them as you see fit. Then you've got additional pricing settings. So this is customized for Shopify, but we can have that compare price for every product that we add. We want to add a, let's say 20% uh, off. This will not deduct 20% from the prices that's being configured here, but rather the prices that are being configured here are going to be upped by 20% and then slashed by 20% down to the actual price and profit that you're setting here. And you can also set the price hence value. So let's say you want each price to end at 0.95 or 0.97 or 0.99 cents, just so that it'll look a little bit better. It won't be 156.63. It'll be 156.99 or 0.97 or whatever you have set here and include shipping price, which I recommend to have. This means that if you're adding a product from the supplier and the supplier is also charging you for shipping. So let's say the product costs $20 plus another $5 for shipping then when you include the shipping price, then AutoDS is going to add the $20 and the $5 as $25 in total source price. So this means that you will be able to offer free shipping to your buyers, even though you are paying for shipping, but you are still keeping your desired profit by including the shipping price inside your source price. So allow the system to do that for you so that you can offer free shipping to your buyers. And of course, save your settings once you're finished. And that is the pricing settings. Now let's move over to the order settings. And this is where you have the ability to allow automatic orders or the fulfilled by AutoDS service to be activated on your AutoDS stores. Now, keep in mind that in order for fulfilled by AutoDS or automatic orders to work, you do have to have it enabled under your AutoDS plans. So we're going to click on plans and add-ons, and we're going to make sure that we've got the orders processor enabled. And this will allow us to automate our orders using either fulfilled by AutoDS or the regular automatic order service. So here is how that works. Again, we're going to choose a supplier and the selling channel that's relevant for these settings. And here we can have the process orders using the fulfilled by AutoDS service on. Then you've also got automatic orders. So remember that the differences between them is that fulfilled by AutoDS uses AutoDS's buyer accounts, whereas automatic orders uses your buyer accounts to automate your orders. Both selections still have automatic tracking updates. However, I do recommend using the fulfilled by AutoDS service. It's simply better, faster, and your buyer accounts are never at risk because you're not using them in the first place. So what happens if you have both of them on? If you have both of them on, then the system will use the fulfilled by AutoDS service and it'll also automate every order that comes in because you have the second one also on. So this means that as soon as an order comes in, it will not start in pending status. It will get sent to auto order right away. So when you wake up in the morning, you may see that you have orders that are already ordered and maybe some of them have already been shipped with tracking information updated. So if you have both of them on, you will use the fulfilled by AutoDS service and the orders will be fulfilled automatically as soon as they come in. However, if you only have the first one on fulfilled by AutoDS, but without automatic orders, then you'll still be using the fulfilled by AutoDS service. However, when an order comes in, it will be in pending status and you will have to switch the status from pending to send to auto order and then the fulfilled by AutoDS service will do the rest. Now, if you have it the other way around, if you have only automatic order selected without fulfilled by AutoDS, then it will use your buyer accounts. You're not going to use the fulfilled by AutoDS service. You will be using the automatic order service, meaning it will be using your buyer accounts. And for that to happen, you do have to create a buyer account up here. So let's go over that right now just to understand how all of that works. Let's say you want to use only automatic orders. You want to go here to buyer accounts and you want to add your buyer account right here. This is where you're going to add the buyer account for the platform that you would like to do that on. For example, you have Amazon, Walmart, Home Depot, and AliExpress. Next, you're going to choose whatever region you want to automate your orders from and your login information. So what's your email and what's your password to log into your Amazon buyer account so that the system can automate your orders from there. Then you've got the billing full name, the zip code, your billing phone number, and a verification code, which might be needed at least one time so that the system will be able to log into your account and process your orders for you. Then you've got the payment methods. So this is the payment method that the system is going to use to fulfill the order using your buyer account and the settings. So what is the max pending orders that you would like to have per day on your account? So for example, if you have five here, then if you have five orders, 
in ordered status, then the system will not process more orders until one of those orders from the ordered status, one of those five orders, move to shipped. Then the system will move on and process the next order. And this is if you want to limit how many pending orders you have that have not been shipped yet in order to take care of your buyer account and not have it suspended or locked for whatever reasons. And the daily orders price limit. So if you do not want your buyer account to exceed, let's say, $300 of ordered products per day, then you're going to set that limit. And here you want to have it on so that automatic orders will work and to automate, of course, the tracking numbers. And order scan will simply allow the system to scan your account and see if you have any orders on your AutoDS account that were not processed from your Amazon buyer account. So it will fulfill those orders also. So that is how you can add a buyer account on AutoDS, which is connected to the automatic orders. So select which automatic order option is best for you. Again, I highly recommend the Fulfilled by AutoDS service and also have the second one checked in so that the orders will process in as soon as they come in or uncheck it and move from pending to send to auto order as soon as they come in. But this is definitely the preferred automatic order service. And last but not least, we've got HipShipper, which is an international program which is more relevant for eBay dropshippers. So if you're dropshipping on eBay, you can use HipShipper to open up all of your listings for international orders so that people all over the world will be able to see and purchase your listing. Then you'll send it to HipShipper's warehouse and HipShipper will send it to the end customer. Next, we can override the customer's phone number. So if we do not wish the automatic order service to use our customer's phone number, we can just write any general number and it will use that phone number instead. And we've also got mark order as delivered automatically after a certain amount of days. If you would like that to happen, you can leave that on or off. That's completely up to you. Set order as ship status once it's actually shipped. That is the setting that I have on, but of course you have more options there. Tracking conversion is important, especially if you're using Amazon as your supplier and Amazon is providing TBA tracking numbers, which cannot be tracked outside of your buyer account. So how will you be able to prove to the customer that the product is either on its way or that it reached its destination if Amazon is giving you tracking numbers that your customers cannot track? In this case, we can convert our tracking numbers and we have a few different options here. We can convert either all of our orders tracking numbers to Blue Care Express or Amazon shipping carrier only only to Blue Care Express or all tracking to Aqualine or all tracking to QTrack. The difference between Blue Care Express to Aqualine to QTrack is that Aqualine and QTrack also come with zip code masquerade, which is especially good for eBay sellers that need to prove in the tracking events that it is coming out of the same item location that you have provided in your eBay listing. And that is good if you do not want to breach eBay's item location policy. But if you're on Shopify or other selling channels, Blue Care Express will also do the job because all of these service providers can convert your tracking numbers to those that can be trackable on your customer's side. So be sure to take advantage of that so your customers can always be able to see what's going on with their packages. Then we've got maximum purchase order price and maximum loss. So maximum purchase order order price. If, for example, you have an order that costs over, let's say, $300 and you don't want it to be fulfilled automatically by the system, you want to go over the order first, make sure that everything's okay, make sure that the buyer is a real buyer and all of that. So you can set the maximum purchase and make sure that, that the buyer is not a fraud or anything like that. So set your maximum purchase order price right here and the maximum loss. So do not process my order automatically if I'm losing one or two or five dollars on the order or whatever you have set here. Next, you've got automatic messages sent to customers. So if you're dropshipping from Amazon to Shopify, then all of your products from Amazon will get sent out with a gift message, with a gift option if it's available. And here you can choose what you want to be written on that gift message. Now, if you're dropshipping, for example, on eBay, there are more automatic messages that you can send to your customers. For example, after the order was placed, after tracking information is available, after the order was delivered, to ask for a feedback, all of that, of course, is available right here if you have an eBay store selected and you can completely modify what to send in those messages. So that's really good when it comes to customer service. Then we've got general, the last tab under supplier settings. And here is just very general settings for the products that you're adding. For example, what would you like the default weight unit to be? Would you like automatic SKU filling or SKU filling? What is the minimum product quantity that you want available on the supplier's website so that on your store, it will still show as in stock? So here, let's say you can say, okay, if there's less than four units left on the supplier's website, then I want it out of stock on my website because I don't want to take any chances. Or you can just say that it's one. As long as there's one available on my supplier's website, I want it still in stock on my store. And you've got maximum shipping days. So if, for example, it takes the supplier more than 14 days to ship and deliver this product, then you do not want this product in stock. It's going to move from in stock to on hold. 
and choose from suppliers table. So if you want the system to take into consideration the products that have Prime or products that are cheapest that maybe don't have Prime. I recommend Prime because it simply gets delivered much faster to your buyers and Prime only will keep the product in stock as long as it has the Amazon Prime feature on it. If it's a marketplace or a third party seller, then it's going to move from in stock once again to on hold. And that sums up all of the supplier settings that we have on AutoDS. And now let's move over to the automation settings. The automation settings in AutoDS allows you to create an automated pricing strategy for your products. Here's how that works. We're going to click on add automation and we're going to give our pricing automation a name. Pricing automation one. And here we're going to set the conditions for the pricing automation strategy. So here, for example, we can say, okay, I would like to raise the price by sales performance. You can toggle it on or off. So in other words, if an item sells more than, let's say two times every five days, of course, you can change the amount of days and days, weeks, or months. So if a product sells more than two times every five days, then I would like you to automatically raise the price for that product by, let's say, 10% each time up to a limit of 50% because you really don't want to go too far and be too expensive with this product. And you can also configure to increase the price by a fixed amount. So let's say by $1 up to $5. Then we're going to click on next. And this is only going to happen if the product sells more than twice every five days. So what does this mean? In other words, you would like to make more profit on the products that are selling on your store. If it's selling, let's raise the price and make more profit the next time it sells. Then if we click on next, we can do the same thing when a product is not selling enough. So we would like to lower the price. So here decrease price by sales performance. If the number of sales is, let's say, lower than one per 30 days, okay, or per one month. So this means that if the product doesn't sell at least one time a month, then I would like you to decrease the price automatically by 5% each time down to a limit of let's say 20%. I don't want to reduce below that because then I will not be making any profit for this product. And also you can decrease again by a fixed amount. And when you're done with that, simply click on next. Then you can assign to which products you would like to add these settings to. So you can do it for all of the products on your store. Just select all. Then you can click on select all 167 products that I have on this store, or I can select what products I would like these strategies to be applied for or to. And when we're done, we're going to click on finish. You can also click on, I will assign these products later, but it will save the pricing automation settings that you did here. Okay. So I'm going to click on finish and I've got this pricing automation strategy. And as you can see, it's toggled on and at the moment it's applying it to those variations. That is how the pricing automation strategy works. And it's here to help you understand what is the sweet spot for your products. If it stops selling, reduce the price down to a certain limit. And if it is selling, continue increasing the price up to a certain limit. And then it's going to find that sweet spot where you're consistently making sales with the maximum amount of price and profit that you can get for that product. And that is how the pricing automation strategy works on AutoDS. Now that we're done understanding how to set pricing automation strategies in our stores, let's learn about the AutoDS free templates that we're getting. Now, this is more relevant to those who have eBay stores where it's easy to add store templates for your products. So under the settings tab, under the templates column, here's what you need to know about the free templates provided to you by AutoDS. Here, as you can see, we've got a whole bunch of templates that we can use. All of these are free and it's all included in your AutoDS plan. So we've got, for example, nonstop China, Black Friday for when we have Black Friday deals under the Black Friday season in Q4, Halloween for, of course, again, Q4. When Halloween is coming up, it's really good to use this template. Best quality, best prices, Merry Christmas. This is a good template, of course, to use when the Christmas season is on and more and more free templates, as you can see right here. If you want to use any of these free templates, all that you have to do is either click on add or you can click on preview to actually see what it looks like. You can see both desktop views, as you can see right here, everything is nice in place. You've also got the about us, payment policies, shipping policies, all of which of course you can edit through our template editor and you can see the desktop view or the mobile view. So this is what it's going to look like on either or. 
And once you like a template, you can just go ahead and click on add and give this template a name. Then it's going to create a duplicate for that template so that you can actually edit it and do whatever you want to the text or even change the images around a bit. So now if I click on my templates, I can scroll down to the template that I just added. And here I can change whatever I want. For example, instead of item description, I can write what this item is about just as an example. And as we continue scrolling down, we can change more things like in the about us, for example, you can change the text in the about us same goes for shipping returns satisfaction and that is pretty much it if you hover over these badges you can see the nice animations that you will get on your store and again everything here is completely free and you can even insert more things like for example in the description text you can see this description trigger this means that this will show the description that was added from your supplier but you can also add your own free text for every time you use this template for example you can click here on any one of these triggers and it will actually show that for example if you want your store name to be shown you can click on it here and under the description it will also show your store name just as an example and you've got all of the additional editing options right here whether it's the text alignment or the fonts that you want to use the sizes colors and so forth and when you're done you're simply going to click on update and you can use this template on any one of your listings you can do a bulk edit on your products page and add this template to whatever listings that you want and that is how easy and cool it is to create your own templates for your product pages, all being given to you for free inside the AutoDS system. Next, we've got keywords. The keywords section on AutoDS allows you to either block products from being uploaded or remove certain keywords from the titles and descriptions of your products automatically so that you won't have to search for those keywords and do that yourself. So for example, here under settings and keywords, we're going to go ahead and add our first block keywords. And here, for example, I want to say, okay, I don't want these words on my listings. I don't want it to say Amazon. I don't want it to say contact us because usually a supplier's phone number is followed up with that. I don't want it to say trademark or patented or copyright. I don't want any of these words in my titles or descriptions. Usually you're most likely going to see them in the descriptions, but also sometimes in titles. So if these keywords, if any of these keywords appear in the product's title, you can say either do nothing or don't upload the product or upload the product, but delete that keyword from the title. Then you've got if the keyword appears in the product's description. So same thing, either do nothing, don't upload the product at all, or simply remove that text from the product description. And if the keyword appears in the product's manufacturer, because you don't want to upload products from that specific manufacturer for whatever reason then do nothing or don't upload the product and that is pretty much it you're going to save these block keywords and what you decided is exactly what is going to happen either don't upload the product or remove it from the title or remove it from the description and continue with the upload process and you can see that all of those conditions were added under my keywords blacklist i can remove i can edit and that is pretty much how the keyword blacklist works on AutoDS. next we're going to move over to plans and add-ons this is pretty simple and very self-explanatory. The plans and add-ons section on AutoDS allows you to add additional plans and additional add-ons to use under your AutoDS account. So for example, if you're dropshipping on Shopify, but you also want to add eBay, then you want to add the eBay plan. Same goes for other selling channels like Amazon, Facebook Marketplace, Wix, WooCommerce, Etsy, and so on. That goes for selling channels. And the same goes for add-ons like the product finding hub. If you want to have under the marketplace, the trending products and the and pick products and the TikTok spy and so forth, you can get all of that with one product finding hub add-on. And for the orders processor, this is if you want to enable either automatic orders or fulfilled by AutoDS, you have to have this plan enabled to automate your orders. Then you've got the mentorship program. So if you would like to sign up for the mentorship program and get one-on-one -on -one guidance for your stores to help build your store from scratch and help you make your first sales and profit and scale your way from there, you can join the mentorship program by adding the mentorship add-on. And lastly, you've got VA users. In other words, virtual assistants. This will allow you to create user accounts or virtual assistant accounts for other employees to help manage your store. So this will take it one step further when it comes to automation, when you can also allow virtual assistants to have access to certain parts of your store and be able to delegate certain sections on AutoDS to allow them to control that on your store to help you take your store even further. So this is how you're going to be able to add all of these options through the plans and add-ons on AutoDS. Next, we've got account and billing. This is pretty self-explanatory, but here you can see your payment methods on your account and your payment history. 
If you would like to change your payment settings, you can do so by clicking on edit here. And here you can either change your credit card settings, your PayPal or Payoneer to pay for your AutoDS subscriptions and add-ons and so forth. And you can also download your invoices for every payment that you made by clicking on this download icon right here. Lastly, you can manage or cancel your AutoDS account by clicking on this link down here. Next, we've got users. The users column under the AutoDS settings allows you to add virtual assistants and delegate access to whatever sections you want them to have control over on the stores that you have connected to AutoDS. Just make sure that you enabled the VA user add-on under plans and add-ons so that you can start adding your buyer accounts. Then go back to users and add your first virtual assistant. So we're going to click on add user and here we're going to write their name. So let's say his name is Mark and his email is mark at autods.com. Select a password for your Mark or your virtual assistant and decide what you want to give them privilege on, either all of your stores or a selected store. And here you can select which store you would like to give them access to and what you would like to give them access to inside those stores. So for example, can they view your dashboard? Can they view and edit your active products? Can they view, edit and delete drafts? Can they view and edit your orders? Can they answer your customer's messages and cases if it's on eBay? Can they view and import your untracked listings? Can they list new products on your store? Can they end your active products or your untracked products? And can they view and edit your settings? So give them access to whatever you wish and go ahead and click on add user. And now you can see your first virtual assistant right here with all of the privileges that you gave them. You can forward them their credentials by simply going to the AutoDS platform and give them their email and the password that you set for them under their user account settings. And you can continue adding more virtual assistants by clicking on add user and adding more and more as you see fit for your business. And that is how you can add virtual assistants to AutoDS and allow them to help you further build and scale your dropshipping business. And next we've got buyer accounts. The buyer account section on AutoDS allows you to add buyer accounts if you're using the automatic orders service, not fulfilled by AutoDS, but automatic orders, which uses your buyer accounts to pay for and fulfill your orders. And this works by clicking on add account right here and simply adding your account information. So for example, if I would like to use automatic orders for my Amazon account using my Amazon buyer accounts, I'm going to select the right region and I'm going to provide my login information to my Amazon buyer account, as well as the rest of the information right here, like the billing name, the zip code, billing phone number and verification code, which I will need to get from Amazon. Then the payment methods, which I would like to use to fulfill these orders using my buyer accounts and the overall settings. What is the maximum amount of pending orders that I would like? What is the maximum amount of daily orders that I would like to fulfill? And if I would like to enable automatic orders, automatic tracking updates and scanning to see if I have any orders on my AutoDS account that I did not fulfill using that Amazon account. And that is how we can add a buyer account and allow the system to use that information to fulfill my orders. But I do recommend the fulfilled by AutoDS service. It's simply much easier and does not need your buyer accounts. And that's how easy it is to add buyer accounts and allow automatic orders. Just make sure that you have the orders processor enabled under your plans and add-ons and under supplier settings, order settings, you want to make sure that you have automatic orders selected so it will use your buyer accounts, but do not use fulfilled by AutoDS if you wanted to use your buyer accounts. If you have both on, it's going to use fulfilled by AutoDS and fulfill every order automatically as soon as it comes in. And that is how the buyer accounts works using AutoDS's automatic orders that will use your buyer accounts to fulfill your orders with automatic tracking updates. Now we've got the notification settings. The notification settings on AutoDS allows us to enable what notifications we would like to receive by email when a certain event takes place on our stores. For example, here under orders notifications, I will select that I would like to get a notification every time a new order comes in, every time an order was processed successfully, when tracking information is available on an order, when an order was failed to process, when an order goes in or out of stock, and when a price changes on one of my products. Then you can choose how often you would like to receive these updates on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, or on a monthly basis, and the email address in which you would like to receive these updates too. Once you're done, you're going to go ahead and click on save and you will receive email notifications for every time one of these events occur on your stores, according to what you have saved here. Next, we've got the store settings. 
The store settings on AutoDS allows you to see or change the default currency that you are seeing in the AutoDS system on your stores, to renew your token if for any reason you need to do so, to set a store watermark, and when you do so, you can watermark your product images with your watermarked logo so that if other dropshippers are trying to take your products, they'll be doing so with your store logo on it with your watermark and to resync your store. If for any reason you need to resync your store, you can also do so here and also for the branding settings. So you can upload your logo here. And when you have a sale under the marketplace with a private supplier that can customize your order with your branded logo on it, they're going to use the logo that you have uploaded here. And those are all of the options that you have under the AutoDS store settings. Just make sure that you have the right store selected when you're changing these settings. Now you can find additional features in the AutoDS system by hovering over your account settings up here. First, you've got the AutoDS Academy. This is a great place to learn how to start selling or what products to sell and all kinds of dropshipping and selling strategies under specific selling platforms. You also have full free courses that you can watch no matter what selling channel you want to sell on. We've got a full in-depth course from A to Z, all completely free because we want you to succeed with your dropshipping business. You can also see popular videos directly from our YouTube channel inside the AutoDS platform, whether it's on eBay, Shopify, Facebook, general, technical videos, product finding videos, and so forth. You can see all of them right here from inside the AutoDS platform. So you've got the AutoDS Academy to teach you how to go from a beginner dropshipper to an advanced professional dropshipper, making sales, making profit, and enjoying everything that comes along with that. Next, you've also got the help center. So this is a place where you can open up tickets for support, read our technical help guides, create a feature request for a feature that you would like to see inside the system. And you can also upvote other people's feature requests if you would like to see that feature. And you can see it here, whatever we have planned according to your upvotes, what the developers have in progress and features that just went live. You can see all of that and vote for new features using the Upvotey internal system. And you can also read our blog articles by clicking on our blog link and seeing all of the great blog articles, new ones being published every week with fresh new content to help you succeed with your dropshipping business. Additional features include the AutoDS wallet, which allows you to connect your Payoneer account to AutoDS. And that will look like this, where you can see the total balance that you have, all of your orders history, the money going in and the money coming out of your Payoneer account. And you can also connect multiple Payoneer accounts under one window. So you can see in this account, I've got a balance of 240 orders with all of the history. And on the first account where I've got a balance of $1,200 with all of my history, and I can withdraw this balance from my Payoneer account to my AutoDS balance so that I could top up my balance and use that to fulfill my fulfilled by AutoDS orders. This way I keep everything under one place, orders coming in, orders going out, all from my Payoneer account. And then from Payoneer, I will withdraw my profits to my bank account. And that is how we can control our finances and see everything under one transparent window. And that sums up this full technical video of how to use the AutoDS system. I hope that you find it informational. If there's anything that you think I missed out on, let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to this video if you enjoy what you're seeing here and if it helped you with your dropshipping business. Welcome to AutoDS. Enjoy automating your business and taking it to new heights. And I cannot wait to hear about your success story.